There is no sickness, toll, or danger in that fair land to which I go. I'm going home to see my mother. I'm going home no more to roam. I am just going over Jordan. I am just going over I know dark clouds will hover over me. I know my path is rough and steep, but golden fields lie out before me, where weary eyes no more will weep. I'm going home to see my father. I'm going home no more to roam. I'll soon be free from every trial This form shall rest beneath the sun I'll drop the cross of self-denial And enter in that home with God I'm going home to see my Savior I'm going home no more to roam Okay, so now I'm going to walk through how to play the banjo solo and what to play as you play and sing this fantastic uh, song, Wayfaring Stranger. So once again, this is played in the style of two-finger banjo, two-finger thumb lead specifically, which, as you may have heard me talk about before, is a fantastic style to learn on the banjo if you want to play and sing. Um, of all the different ways of up-picking the banjo or finger-style picking, this is by far, in my opinion, the best one to learn for playing and singing, and also the best one to learn first when you are starting to learn how to up-pick the banjo. So this is actually in what would be typically described as G minor tuning, which is almost identical to standard G tuning, except for one string. So the only difference between standard G and this tuning, G minor, is that the second string is a B flat instead of a B, which is what gives it the minor sound. So that means we have a D on our fourth string, a G on the third, a B flat on the second, which should be even with the third fret of the third string. And then we have the D on the first and a G on the fifth. And so these, this third, second, first string there give you that G minor chord. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is just walk you through the chord positions that we'll be playing this song out of. So um, if you're like me, you don't play a whole lot in this particular tuning. Uh, maybe once you get here, you want to play more in this tuning because it sounds great. But um, the chord positions may not be familiar to you, uh, and that's fine. They're not too hard to pick up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to walk through the chord progression for the song, for the verse and the chorus, and then I'll show you the chord uh, shapes you're going to want to be in along the way. So we're going to be starting with the G minor chord, which is just the open strings of the banjo. So we begin with, I am a poor wayfaring stranger traveling and now we're going to move to the C minor chord 
the fully fingered chord would be the first fret of the fourth string, maybe with your index, middle finger on the first fret of the, set of the first string, ring on the second fret of the second string. However, you actually don't need to form that fully fingered chord for this particular arrangement. I would suggest instead just fingering these first and second string. So I put my index on the first fret of the first string, middle on the second fret of the second string. That gives us our C minor chord. Traveling through this world of... And then we back to our G minor, open strings. Long, there is no sickness, toll, no danger in that fair. Back to our C minor chord, same one as before. Land to which I go, I'm going. Now you'll see the next chord we call for is, is an E flat. Now there are several places on the neck to get that. In this particular arrangement, um, I'm going to get it down here where I'll have my middle finger on the uh, eighth fret of the uh, first string, ring finger on the ninth fret of the second string, index finger on the eighth fret of the third string. Uh, guitarists will recognize this as a D shape. Um, so there are your tones. Um, if the fully fingered version of this would be to, fret, to also grab the first fret of the fourth string. And so this is an E flat major chord, but I think it's uh, easier, in my opinion, to just do this shape here. So now we have, I'm going home to see my... The next chord is the B flat major, which all, we can just bring this same shape up. Um, one, two, three, four, five frets, okay? Mother, we have the same exact shape. So now we have our fingers on the third fret of the first and third string and the second fret of the fourth string. Mother, I'm going on the home. We're going back up to the, that A flat chord, I mean that E flat chord. Home, no more to. And then we go to the C minor again. Run, I am just going over Jordan. Back to G minor, open strings. I am just C minor, going over, open strings. Okay, next let's talk about what to play as you're singing. And I'm going to start by just demonstrating uh, a basic but very effective version of that. Um, and here, basically what you're going to be doing is playing the same picking pattern um, while you're changing into the chords we talked about. And that pattern is simply this. It's thumb, pinch, and then what you might call a roll. And you can you can alternate that thumb on different strings. So you uh, sort of the foundational pattern might be alternating it on the open third and the and the open fourth, like this. And another variation would be to alternate it from the open third to the open second, like this. Now you notice in the tab I've represented this with X's to indicate that it doesn't really matter what notes you're playing, this is just a pattern of picking um, that you can play behind your voice. Works really well with thumb lead style. So anything in this particular that you're playing two finger thumb lead, if you have the chord progressions, figure those out, take this pattern and sing away and you're all set with a, with a nice effective um, beat, uh, version to get started with. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play through the whole song using this pattern um, and fingering the chords as I go. So that first pattern there we'll call pattern one and the second pattern, pattern two. And I'm gonna call out which pattern I'm playing uh, over each of these chord positions, okay? So let's get started. We, remember we begin on the open string, the G minor chord, which is the open strings of the banjo, and we're gonna use pattern one. So it sounds like this. I am a poor wayfaring stranger traveling. Now we're moving to the C minor chord. We're going to use pattern two. Through this world of... Back to the G minor, pattern one. There is no sickness, toil, no danger in that fair. Back to C minor, pattern two. Land to which I... Back to G minor, pattern one. Go. I'm going... Now, move up the neck to that E-flat major chord and pattern two. Home, see my B-flat major chord, pattern two. Mother, 
I'm going E flat major, pattern on two, home, no more to C minor, Rome, pattern two, Rome, I am just going over G minor, pattern one, Jordan, I am just C minor, pattern two, Rome. Okay, in a minute, I'm gonna show you something a little more complex to play behind your voice if you wanna add a little bit of interest. But before we get there, I'm gonna walk through the tab for the banjo solo uh, for this song, which will uh, be a foundation for what I'm gonna play in that more advanced version behind my voice. And again, if you don't have this tab, there's a link in the video description. Uh, you can go to fingerstylebanjo.com forward slash wayfaring uh, to grab it. And so I'm gonna just demonstrate measure by measure um, what I'm playing, and I'll use this little blue box here that designates which measure I'm showing you, okay? So we begin with this little uh, lead-in measure. Sounds like this. So once again. And you'll notice there I have what would be described as a delayed pull-off. So I'm playing that open third, and then I'm doing the hammer-on from the open third to the third string, and then I'm playing the fifth string, and after that, I'm playing that pick up, that um, pull off. So essentially, I'm just plucking that third string after I play the fifth string. Sounds like this again. Easiest to just, to just listen to it and, uh, and try to emulate it. It's rather than looking at the tab and trying to do it from that. So, or if you, you to, if without the pull off, it would just be like this which is fine too. You can get that under your belt and then go to the delayed pull off. All right, so that's that measure. Next measure sounds like this. One more time. All right, next measure. Wayfaring, is that how that sounds? Stranger is this measure. So again, this measure. Okay, so all four of these measures that you see sound like this. I am a poor wayfaring stranger. That's where we are in the song. Next set of measures. This one sounds like this. Traveling. All right, now we're at the point in the song where we're fingering that C minor chord, and we're gonna hammer on to start it. It's hammer on to that chord uh, on striking the second string first. So again. All right, next measure, still fingering that chord. Once again. And now. Doing that slide this time from the second fret to the fourth fret of the second string. All right, all four measures here sound like this. Traveling through this world alone. This slide, alone, is mimicking what you do in, when you're singing, singing there. All right, next measure. And again, I have that delayed pull off in there. All right, now we've got familiar territory. Just like before, same here. Last measure. Okay, so all four measures here sound like this. up this verse soon. This measure here sounds like this. All right, once again, move into that C minor chord exactly the same way. Now we're gonna close out the phrase. One more time, a little slower.
Last measure. One more time. Okay, everything, all four measures sound like this. All right, so the very last measure of this verse sounds like this. I'm going. Now, moving to the chorus, starting on that E flat major. So again. All right, next measure. Gonna wanna bring that pinky down to that 10th fret of the third string. Back to our B flat measure shape. All right, so all four measures sound like this. Next measure sounds like this. And then we're sliding into this next measure back into that E flat major shape. Again. Now we're going back to C minor. Okay, so all four measures here sound like this. All right. Next measure still on the C minor chord. You can grab that pull off with your ring or pinky. Hammer on here again on this C minor. We're still holding that shape though. So you're gonna have to lift your finger off and then put it back on. Next measure. One more time. One more time. Last measure up here. Okay, and these last two measures will make sense together, so I'm going to play all four together now, and you should hear how, it's, uh, how it uh, all fits in. Next measure. One more time. Back to our C minor. measure as we did before when we ended the A part or the verse. Last measure up here. So everything, all four measures here sound like this. And again we have one final note of the song which is our open third, which is our G, because this is in the key of G minor. Okay, so that is the walkthrough for the tab. Now I'm gonna play something very similar to that as I sing along to kind of demonstrate the opposite end of the spectrum in terms of complexity uh, with respect to what you might play as you're playing and singing. I am a poor and stranger traveling through I'm going home to see my mother I'm going home no more to roam I am just going over Jordan I am just going over home All right, so again, that is the opposite end of the spectrum where I'm essentially playing a banjo break as I'm singing. But the reason, this is another reason why two-finger thumb lead is so great, is because the way it's laid out, 
um, it's going to be replicating. You're essentially going to replicate what you're singing with your voice um, with two finger thumb lead style. So it's a it's a natural fit in that regard. But you could play anything from what I you know started at the beginning, showed you the, in, in the beginning the first way of doing it, to all the way to replicating all the melody notes to anything in between, and that gives you endless variations. And of course, you know how much you're going to be able to do as you're singing along is going to depend on how comfortable you are with playing and singing, how long you've been playing, and so forth. So again, start with the basics and then add complexity um, as your skills improve. All right, so this concludes the tutorial for Wayfaring Stranger. If you are uh, looking for more two-finger instruction, there are loads more two-finger lessons, um, tabs, and song tutorials in the Breakthrough Banjo course, uh, which you can check out at fingerstylebanjo.com. More and more people seem to be falling in love with this uh, style of banjo picking, which I think is great because I love it too. So there's been a lot of demand for more two-finger content. So I've recently added about 40 new songs in the two-finger section, and there are many more to come. Um, also, if you haven't already, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel, the uh, Fingerstyle Banjo channel, to catch new songs and tutorials when they're released.